Alright, hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to make a quick video about the exhaust I put on about two weeks ago. Um, first, before I get into it, let's go get a cold start and uh, I'll start talking about why I like it and why I don't like it. What I really like about my new exhaust is um, not necessarily the exact manufacturer, the exact exhaust itself, but just having a new exhaust in your car. In my opinion, it's like having a whole new car again because you're excited to drive it again. It sounds different, it gives you a new feel in the car, you like to hear it again, you want to drive it just to hear it more. And that's a lot of fun to just bring something new to the car. That's what like any modifications bring to the car does. Wheels, tires, stuff like that, but really an exhaust really changes a lot, especially for me because I love sound. And so this one's a lot different, which I love. So the old exhaust I had for this thing was a Nismo catback exhaust, which is similar to the stock exhaust. It's a canister style, and it has a resonator. Now the new one, the Magnaflow, has no resonator, and it is still a canister, but it's a little less. The canister is a lot smaller. It's probably about half the size, and it's a lot lighter, so it's got to be a little bit less uh, restrictions when the air is going through. Here, let me show you. So this is the new style of canister. It's much smaller, um, a little bit easier to work with when you're trying to put it on or take it off. So one thing that I, I don't know what I like about is the Magnaflow tips. Um, since it is Magnaflow, you think of an American company on a Japanese car. It's a little different, and it advertises on the tips. So that's kind of unique and different. Not something you see a lot. I don't know if I like that or don't like that, but it's something. So as far as the install, it's really not that bad, but it's the removal of the old exhaust that'll get you, because I'm pretty sure my exhaust was on um, probably since around 2004 and well that's over 10 years now so it was just so many things were rusted together and fused together that I, we broke stuff it was the pain we had to grind stuff off just to get it off but installing the new one wasn't really too bad now there's a couple of things that i was concerned about at first which they seem to be fine right now but uh it's not a flange style it's uh like a friction fit the pipes fit in with each other and then you clamp it down um let's see if i can find some pictures of that right here uh i thought that was gonna have little problems with the uh, installing because you have to like slide them into each other once you're putting it in but it really wasn't a problem for us uh, you just kind of have to move things around and strategically put them on the hangers in a certain way um, other than that it really wasn't that bad to install let's start talking about sound now like i said the sound is the biggest part that's obviously why you get new exhaust <laughs> Okay, so I gotta be kinda careful, I'm in a neighborhood, but hopefully that was a good representation of getting on it a little bit. Um, one thing that I forgot to mention that I like about it, it really pops a lot. Like, the exhaust just kinda crackles and makes popcorns, oh, it's just so good, I love it. And this exhaust really changes that sound. Um, it's a little bit deeper than Nismo exhaust. Nismo's pretty much stock sound, just a little bit louder. Um, this one's a little bit deeper, uh, much louder. I'd say like three times as loud. Um, but it's not raspy yet. I know a concern with these VQ35s is that they get raspy really quickly and this doesn't happen with that which I, I really enjoy and uh, hopefully it still sounds okay. Um, one thing that this is a 350Z exhaust so the tips are a little bit farther in so we're gonna have to get a, a shop to extend those out a little bit for us but other than that it, it sounds pretty good. I know there's better sounding exhaust out there. Uh, for one I know the price of the exhaust is about a thousand dollars I think brand new. Uh, I didn't pay that much. I only paid four hundred dollars from some other guy. Is it worth the price? Not if you're paying a thousand dollars. If you're paying four hundred dollars, absolutely worth the price because it changes everything, makes it louder. Not raspy, which a uh, eBay exhaust for two hundred fifty will definitely sound raspy. We're gonna do a little bit of a in-car sound right now. Alright, so that's my quick review of the Magnaflow exhaust. It's meant for 350Z, put on G35. I really like it. Is it worth the price? Yes, if you can get it for the right price. Um, other than that, I think people make these videos way too long, so that was quick, and uh, we'll see you at the next one. Finger.